Good morning. Good morning. Great morning. Hey, this is Wesley Billion Dollar Version. All praises to the Most High. God is the greatest. Woo! Let's go. Guys, go ahead and jump in here real quickly here. It's going to be a quick video. I want to talk about something that's going to really help you through your journey to success, money, riches, happiness, whatever you desire here. Go ahead and jump in here, guys. Let's go. Come at the words. Let's go below in the comment section. Let me tell you why. You know, I learned this from Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, a long time ago. You know, saying the word, let's go! It puts your brain and your body in a different state, right? An empowering state, a powerful state that gets you ready to conquer your day. So, you know, I'm grateful today. All praise to the Most High God is the greatest. All praises to the Most High God is the greatest. But I want to talk about, and I want you to listen to me closely here. I want to talk about attitude, okay? Attitude. And I want you to write this down below. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah. Yeah, you. You. You, you with the big face. <laughs> uh, your attitude is going to determine your altitude, okay? Let's say that one more time. Listen to me here. I'm a rich man. Yes, I'm wealthy. And I'm not saying that to boast or brag or to impress you. But I want to press upon you with this. That your attitude right now, even as you're watching this video, will determine your altitude. Now, let me explain that. First, we must define the word attitude. Attitude means this, okay? According to the Wesper Dictionary. Attitude is how you feel about something or someone that's in your life, period. Let me say that one more time. Attitude is just how you feel about something or someone in your life, okay? So check this out. I'm up early this morning, not too early. It's about 1130 right now, and I'm getting ready to go to the gym. Now, some of you, when you woke up this morning, some of you woke up in a bad mood, but let me share something with you. See, this is the secret here. Even though you didn't feel like getting up this morning, even though you didn't feel like going to work or going to school, or maybe you just didn't feel like rolling out of that bed, you can determine your attitude and set the tone for the day. See, that's your power. See, a lot of you, <laughs> you focus so much on success and riches and money, but you have not fixed your attitude on how you perceive your life. It's very difficult. Listen to me closely here, okay? It is going to be very difficult for you to make millions and become a wealthy person if you have not given yourself an attitude adjustment. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I say that one more time? It's very hard and difficult and very stressful to make millions or to be financially free if you don't have an attitude adjustment, okay? Which means this, a lot of people, when they approach life or their day or money, they think about, I gotta grind. <laughs> I gotta work hard. I gotta bust my butt. I gotta work for it. I gotta grind for it. But see, the problem is that attitude, in my opinion, is not the attitude that you wanna use when you're approaching your day. It's Tuesday, okay? The first thing that I do, and I tell you guys this over and over again, if you don't know who I am, go to WesleyVirgin.com right now, and you can watch more videos and understand how your mind works. But every day when I wake up, I make a conscious decision to be grateful about my day. That's it. I'm grateful for life. I'm grateful for the air that I breathe. I'm grateful for my children. I'm grateful for you that watch me around the world. I'm grateful for the millions and millions of, not fans, but friends that follow me on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook. I'm grateful that I can transform people's lives. I'm grateful that money comes to me easily and effortlessly every single minute of the day. I'm grateful that I have many cars to drive. I'm grateful that I have many homes to stay in. I'm grateful that I can travel the world. I'm grateful that my parents are okay. I'm grateful that my parents are healthy. I'm grateful that my the mother of my children is doing well. I'm grateful for life. Now, by doing that, I just gave myself an attitude adjustment. Did you catch it? I'm, I'm talking to you. Did you catch it? 
See, right now, if you're not smiling, if you're not excited, right now, even as you're watching this video, there's a problem, but you can fix it. See, the easiest way to give yourself an attitude adjustment, because it really does determine on how high that you're going to reach a level of success in your life, because success is this. It's just your ability to look at everything in your life in a positive way. Write that down. That's it. Success is this, not really the money. It's just your ability to view and perceive everything in your life as a positive moment every single day. That's it. It doesn't, ma it doesn't matter what happens, but if you have ultimate power when you can view, when you can perceive, when you can look at situations that were meant for your wrong and you can look at them in a positive way. Attitude is everything. See, young world, I want you to get this. This is why I'm so repetitive about it, right? I'm not <laughs> saying this over and over again because I want you to hear my voice. And as I speak, I want you to understand that repetition is the mother of skill. Your attitude, how you feel about your life, about the people that are in your life. Like right now, I know you have some people in your life that you um that you don't like <laughs> I, I, right now i know you know somebody right now that you can't stand can i get an amen i know right now you are doing something like right now as watching this video maybe in your car maybe you're at home maybe you're at your job but you're doing something that you would rather do something different you're doing things that you don't want to do such as working right for people that sign your check at the end of the week right you have to be conscious. This is important because you might say, well, Wesley, it's hard to have a positive attitude because I'm not rich like you. Let me share something with you. And I want you to listen close. See, this is the key. This is the trick here. Um, before I became successful, I had to learn how to adjust my attitude as if I was already successful. Okay. That's the tough part. See, the tough part is convincing yourself and persuading yourself that your reality is much different than your actual reality that is tangible. That's the tough part. See, a lot of you right now, if you think about your bank account, you have no money in your bank account, can I get an amen? Right now, if you think about the car that you drive, it's not the car of your dreams, can I get an amen? Right now, if you think about some of your friends, you know those friends are not quality people, right? <laughs> They beg you for things. They tell you their problem. They're always negative on the phone, on the text messages, right? Right now, you have a job that maybe you're on the way to, or maybe you are right now, and you can't wait till 5 o'clock. Can I get an amen, right? But this is the key here. Even in those scenarios, okay, even in those daily experiences, you got to understand that you can adjust your attitude. You have to look beyond your current reality and see a new one. See, I call that the fifth dimension. The fifth dimension is this. It's the ability to imagine things in your brain, in your mind, even though it's different from your actual reality on the outside world. See, right now, you may be at your job. You can't stand it. But right now, you could be at your job and say, you know what? I'm grateful for my job. And I can't wait because I expect a new opportunity that's going to be in front of me that's going to give me three times more of the salary. I expect right now that my manager, my co-workers are going to be amazing towards me. As a matter of fact, I'm going to treat them with love. As a matter of fact, I'm going to tell them that they're amazing people. Does that make sense? Right now, I'm driving an old car. I can't stand my car. I can't even pay the car note, but I'm blessed and I'm grateful that I do have a car to drive. As a matter of fact, I'm going to print out my dream car and I'm going to put it right here on my dashboard and I'm going to look at that car every single day while I'm driving the car that I have right now. <laughs> Does that make sense? You see how instead of being upset, instead of being pissed off, when you think about everything, that's look, look, bank account. Okay, right now my bank account is negative. Maybe I don't have a thousand dollars in my bank account. If that's you, say amen. Don't come in below. Check it out. Right now, you have no money in your bank account, right? 
But right now, you can say, you know what? I'm grateful. Right now, I don't have that much money in my bank account. But right now, I can see the funds and I can see the deposits around the world. That money is coming to me right now. Billions of dollars are being transacted every single minute of the day. And I can see and I can feel that money is coming to me. The things that I'm doing, the attitude that I'm possessing, the manifestations that I'm putting out in the universe, the work that I'm doing, the skills that I'm building is bringing money into my bank account right now. I'm grateful. All pray to the most high God is the greatest. Am I making sense here? Am I making sense? Let's go! I'm talking to you. Some of you understand this. You got to be different. See, everybody on the planet wants to be significant, okay? They want to be important to somebody or to themselves, right? But you can't wake up. And make a decision to stay in a bad mood. Some of you guys, this is how you drive. That's how you look. If you look right now, I'm driving. If I look in that lady's car right now. If I look at people that's driving. No one has a smile on their face. You don't believe me? Look around. Look around the people. They're zombies. They're zombies at work. They're zombies at school. Nobody has a smile on their face. No one is excited about life. No one's enthusiastic about life. And the question is why? The question is why? And you know what really grinds my gears? It's when something drastic happens to you. Then you start to appreciate those things that you feel right now entitled to. See, right now, I'm grateful for my arm, even though that might sound simplistic to you, but if I lose my arm, that's gonna be the most important thing in my life right now. See, if you lost something, if you lost that old car that you drive, you can't stand the car, you hate the car, you don't even watch the car because you hate the car's existence. But say if you lose the car, say if the engine just drops, um, say if the engine just goes down on you or the transmission fails, now you have no car. Now you wish you had that old clunker. Maybe you hate the place that you stay. You don't like your apartment. You don't like your home, right? Maybe you got roaches everywhere. I don't know. <laughs> But say if you lose that home, say if you get evicted from that home, now that home becomes very important in your life. See, that's where you have to understand something. Understand this, young people, and I'm gonna let you go. It's always something to be grateful for, always. Any time that you're having a tough day, even time if you're having a challenging day, it is always an opportunity to be grateful about something. To be excited about something. Just think about it. See, the problem with most people is we don't get grateful until we lose something. See, you hate your job, but if you lose your job, your job tomorrow, you're going to be pissed off. You're going to be worried. You're going to be afraid. Many of you are not well, are not ready for wealth. You're not ready for it. Okay? Because you need to fix yourself. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You need to fix yourself, your attitude, your behaviors, your activities, your actions, right? Your self worth, your self image, your self esteem about yourself. You're trying to make money, but you have so much. It's like, it's based, and I talk about this analogy. It's like you have a home and you have old furniture in that home, and you want new furniture, right? You want new money, new experiences. And a lot of you, you're trying to put new furniture in a home that already has the old furniture. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. It's clutter. Some of you have so much clutter that's in your mind. You're trying to bring in something new, but you haven't eliminated the old, the bad habits, right? The bad attitudes, the low self-esteem, the damaging personalities, okay? The attitudes. You haven't eliminated those. You have to clear out the old stuff first. Okay? I cannot build a house until I build a foundation. It doesn't matter. I, if I want to build a $5 million house, which I'm getting ready to build right now. 
I can build the biggest house on the planet, right? It can be beautiful in my mind. I want this, I want this, I want this. But until I build the foundation, the house is irrelevant. Because the house must sit on the foundation. Understand that your dream must be built on the foundation first. Where's the foundation? It's you. You're the foundation. Your mind, how you think, how you perceive the world, how you handle problems, how you handle challenges, how you handle people, negative people that's in your life. How do you handle adversity? You got to work on you first. There's so many people I know personally that got a lot of money and they lost all the money because they wasn't ready for the money. They wasn't ready for the wealth. They wasn't ready for the success. And then they inadvertently sabotage themselves. I love you. I appreciate you. <clears throat> I really do. <clears throat> and I want to tell you something. I believe deep down inside myself that you're going to win. That you're going to win. But understand, you know, a lot of you need a coach. You need a mentor. You need somebody that's going to help you along the process. Everybody just can't do it alone. It's tough. You need somebody to guide you. This is the reason why I decided to do seminars around the globe that you may get the chance and an opportunity to register for. This is the reason why I, I'm doing these type of videos on WesleyVirgin.com because I understand some of you can't afford the programs right now. I know some of you guys can't pay seven and forty-seven and hundred dollars. That's understandable. But I have so much content that is free for you at WesleyVirgin.com. But see, the thing is, I can't jump over there and make you take action. I can't do that. I can give you the knowledge. I can talk to you. I can inspire you. I can do whatever it takes with all the tools and resources I have to try to influence you. But I can't make you get off your ass and do something. I can't make you every single day do something towards your life. See, right now, we're doing self the self-affirmation challenge. All of you have seen that video that is on my timeline right now. That is on my Instagram page right now. And I'm showing you something that I did when I didn't have nothing. I'm working on my foundation. Even though I'm a rich man, even though I'm wealthy, I'm still working on my own personal foundation. How do you think I get muscles? I didn't get these muscles by not working out. And just because I have muscles, just because I'm getting fit, doesn't mean that I'm going to stop. Because if I stop, guess what? I'm going to lose the muscles. If I stop self-affirming to myself, if I stop speaking my goals, if I stop visualiz visualizing, if I stop trying to manifest my dreams and my reality, everything's going to stop. You got to be committed to do this for the rest of your life, period. Becoming wealthy and successful, it's a process. And the process is more self-development than it is a skill level or a new business or something that's going to bring you some income. It's self-development. Rich people are very different type of people on the planet. We are resilient. We're lions. We don't, things don't affect us like they affect poor people or average people or sensitive people. I can get negative comments all day. I'm not looking at those negative comments. You can't distract me. Why? Because I'm focused. I'm focused on you. I'm not worrying about what's going on to the left of me or to the right of me. I'm not going, I'm not looking at the comments that people are commenting below. I'm focusing on you because I know you need it. I know that you need an attitude adjustment. And you might say, well, Wesley, I do have a good attitude, but how often? All the time? Some of you are like a roller coaster. You go up, you go down. You go up, some day it's good, some day it's bad. And then you tell yourself and tell others, well, it's okay to have a bad day sometimes, but everybody has a bad day. Why? Why is it okay to have a bad, terrible day? Why? It's not okay. You only say this okay, and you only state those words because everybody else say those things. What does that mean? You need to get away from those type of people. Don't be so convinced and persuaded that today are some days that you will have a bad day. You have the power. You have the power. 
Understand that. Okay? You have the power to make a decision to say, today is a good day and I lost my job. Today is the best day ever and I just found out I was diagnosed with cancer. Today is the best day and I found out that my husband or my wife is cheating on me. Today is the greatest day even though I failed my math test. Today is a great day even though I didn't pass the test to give me the certification that I need it. Today is a good day even though I had a flat tire. I am blessed. That's your power. You have the power to determine your attitude. Your attitude and how you adjust that attitude is going to determine how high you're going to reach levels in life. You don't have to be that smart. I'm not smart. You don't have to be that intelligent. I'm not intelligent. School, I didn't go to school long. I got smarter than school and I dropped out. It's about how you feel about the things that are taking place in your life. Every day being conscious of that until that habit sets in inside of your subconscious mind. Then it is easy for you to be excited every single day. Even though you didn't have, even though it seems like to other people that you didn't have a good day. You say today was the best day ever. You like, hey man, you just lost your house. I know. But today was the best day ever. Hey man, your credit is jacked up. I know. But today was the best day of my life. <laughs> your attitude is going to determine your altitude. Thank you so much. Thank you for the likes and shares. Share this video right now because other people need to hear this information. Wouldn't you agree with me? People need to hear this. Your friends, your buddies, your family, even the negative people that are around you, they need to hear this. No one is speaking like this on this level. Everybody believes that shit just happens and they have no control. And I'm telling you right now, because I love you so much, that you have fucking control. As long as you have a mind, you've been blessed with a mind. You've been blessed with the ability to think. You have total control of your world. It doesn't matter how negative people are. It doesn't matter how pissed off people are. It doesn't matter how terrible people are and how bad the world is. It doesn't matter. You have the opportunity and the unique ability to place your meaning on everything that happens every moment and every second of your day. And that's power. Come at the word. That's power. I love you. I love you so much. I really do. I appreciate you. I got to go work out. I got to go get this. I got to get this body right, right? Look at that muscle. It's not big enough, right? <laughs> hey, I love you guys so much. Remember, um, I do have an event. Um, it is February right now. The event will, no, it's January. The event will be in March 30th, Houston, Texas. I want to see you. I want to see you. Let me help you. Let me show you how to change your beliefs. Trust me. Trust me. I want, I want to shake your hands. I want to meet you. We're going to have one-on-ones together at this seminar. Only 200 people. Understand this. I had over 100,000 people right now on my email list. We have only 200 spots. Get a spot. Be one of the few that do. Get a spot. It's in my bio. I'll leave a link below in the description. If you're on Facebook, I would love to see you there. Unleash the magic within. I am going to unleash things inside of you. And I'm going to embed things inside of you and your belief structure to give you the ability to be able to create your destiny, to create your world. I love you guys so much. I'm coming. I like it. Let's go! If you come and say, motivated, dedicated, let's go! Let's go! I love you guys so much. Let's go!